what I'm going to do right now in pinpointer mode is demonstrate the effects that twisting the unit the sensor has on your scan. You can see it really well in the, um, in the pinpointer mode. And it's one of the most important things when you're doing a 3D ground scan as well is you don't want to twist the sensor because that's going to affect your results. And the way that it affects your results can be demonstrated here with the pinpointer mode. So we're going to show you, I'm basically going to walk around, I'm going to rotate around the sensor and you can see as I'm rotating right there, the lights just went from red, from green to red. So basically, I'm about 190 degrees from where I was before, and the colors are completely, have gone from green to red. So the signal has changed, even though our position hasn't changed. That's the effect of the twisting your sensor while you're walking has on your results. So it's very important to keep that sensor straight. And with this new extension uh, rod that we have, it's a very effective way at making sure the sensor doesn't twist and also helping you maintain the direction towards the target. So let's do some more scans here with the pinpointer mode so that you can see how to use it. Now, based on what we just found out, it's important when you do the pinpointer mode that you keep the sensor in the same direction. So that's what we're going to do now, is we're going to use this in the field to find, and you can see here, here we've got a heavy red signal, and you can see that it was blue there. So we come back, and it changes to blue here. We take a step forward, and we're back to red. So that's a very good indication that we have a strong ferrous metal object target in this area. So. When we do a ground scan, we see it with the pinpointer mode. We've just confirmed where that target is. And you can see as I move it here, it's red. I come back here, it's blue. So we know that our target is in between the red and the blue. It's right there. <laughs> 